What is bisphosphonate therapy and how long should it be continued? What can we do to treat your bones directly? Well, you receive chemotherapy or you receive treatment for your multiple myeloma, and that pretty much is already a treatment for your bone disease. So for instance, we know that the plasma cells secrete cytokines that activate osteoclasts, the bone-eating cells. So when we eradicate the abnormal plasma cells, we already stop the activation of the osteoclasts. So that's one major treatment. The other kind of treatment we give to our patients are bisphosphonates. Bisphosphonates are very active uh, chemical substances that are given intravenously to our patients once a month. And what those bisphosphonates do, they inactivate and they kill the osteoclasts. So this is very important and very specific to really reduce the activity of the cells that eat the bone or resorb the bone. So that's why each patient who starts chemotherapy or treatment for multiple myeloma should also receive bisphosphonate therapy. The question is, how long do we give the bisphosphonates? Usually we give the bisphosphonates, and that's a recommendation by the American Society of Clinical Oncology, for two years. But in patients who are really in a complete remission, I think the bisphosphonates can be either completed after one year, or what you can also do, you can give the bisphosphonates instead of monthly, every three months. Why is this? We know that bisphosphonates have side effects, such as the osteonecrosis of the jaw. That's a necrosis of the maxilla or mandibular, your upper or lower jaw. And we know that this risk increases with the number of treatments. So that's why recent studies show that if you give the bisphosphonates every three months instead of monthly, you have the same effect. So what do I do with my patients? Usually I give bisphosphonates initially monthly for the first year, but then later in the second year, I stretch the interval every three months. So two-year treatment, first year monthly, second year every three months, I think is an appropriate treatment for multiple myeloma with bone disease. Bisphosphonates are very old drugs. It's a substance. Uh, most of the time, the most used uh, brand name is Someta or Solidronic Acid. I think that's what most pa patients know. It is a treatment that is killing the bone-eating cells. We have bone eating and bone producing cells and they sit in the, in the bone and they usually sit next to each other and our bone is turned over, it's eaten and it's built at the same time. And at one point the myeloma cells, if we have myeloma especially in those focal areas, they produce substances that overactivate those otherwise healthy bone eating cells, osteoclasts. And to, to kind of stop that we give the bisphosphonates and those bisphosphonates kind of um, kill those osteoclasts that are too many, and they also slow down the, the bone eating part of that. They, they kind of um, neutralize the, the acid that those osteoclasts produce uh, by eating the bone. Should patients restart bisphosphonate therapy if their myeloma relapses? Usually, when patients have relapsed multiple myeloma and they stop the initial treatment with bisphosphonates, we give at least one year of bisphosphonates to our patients. It might not be necessary if there's no extensive bone disease that the patients receive bisphosphonate monthly. In those cases, we give to our patients the bisphosphonates every three months. In case patients have extensive bone disease and they present in their relapse with hypercalcemia or with extensive bone disease, then usually I recommend that patients receive monthly treatment with bisphosphonates. But again, that depends on the situation in case of a relapse.